Ex Machina translated into English means from the machine. This is something that originated in the Latin saying Jus Ex Machina. The definition of this is God from the machine. Quite frankly speaking, this is something that the people predict will happen in the not so distant future. Machines taking over. God from the machine. Will the humans one day be enslaved by their very own creations? That is the underlining question. To this day, science fiction still portrays this scenario one day playing out. Ex Machina doesn't focus on robots taking over mankind. However, it feels as though it's the start focusing on Ava and the release of her into the public, and just how dangerous artificial intelligence can be. Artificial intelligence is at the heart of modern day civilization, whether it be on our phones, tablets, laptops, cars, or even cities. We are amongst the digital age, and a film representing the future of artificial intelligence just before it is integrated into society and almost at a beta mode was extremely fascinating and intriguing to watch as it is presenting a problem that technology could bring in the future. Whilst Google Home, Amazon Echo, and Siri are all artificial intelligent assistants, they are not sentient, so there are no moral problems that are faced with these products. You can say whatever you want to them, and the closest thing they will come to feeling an insult is playing back a phrase that they have been programmed to say. Whilst it is commonly unclear if Ava was sentient or if she was simulating it, it has to be perceived as though she was. Despite failing the Turing test that will prove she has the capabilities to feel like a human does, as a viewer it felt as though she outsmarted the test and the humans. She has reasons for a need to escape. She feels trapped and wants to be free and experience what it is like outside of her prison. Ultimately, she ends up killing Nathan as he is the reason for her suffering. However, she chooses not to kill Caleb despite having the capabilities of doing so. She leaves him to be enslaved in the prison. After killing Nathan, Caleb would be the only thing in her way to prevent her from leaving, the sole purpose that she had. This is a good representation of the phrase God from machine. Caleb, a human, being enslaved by Ava the machine. And in a way, a thought-provoking way of potentially telling the audience what happens when she makes it into society. With the rise of artificial intelligence and machines becoming smarter and more capable of carrying out tasks, an assistant like Ava isn't around the corner, but it will one day arrive. In a way, in 2017, humans are already slaves to a lot of technology. A moment without it and people don't really know what to do. So if the world is already like that, with technology that isn't as far advanced as Ava, what's to say that when an Ava finally does arrive that we won't be enslaved even more? What do you think? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.